गाइस वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट काउंट कंप्लीट सब एरेज इन एन एरे प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर 2799 लेट्स नाउ लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम यू आर गिवन एन एरे नंबर्स कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स वी कॉल अ सब एरे ऑफ एन एरे कंप्लीट इफ द फॉलोइंग कंडीशन इज सेटिस्फाइड द नंबर ऑफ डिस्टिंक्ट एलिमेंट्स इन द सब एरे इज इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ डिस्टिंक्ट एलिमेंट्स इन द होल एरे रिटर्न द नंबर ऑफ कंप्लीट सब एरेज अ सब एरे इज अ कंटीन्यूअस नॉन एम्प्टी पार्ट ऑफ एन एरे now if you look at the given example then uh, you have 13122 so in this case the number of unique elements will be equals to only 1 2 3 which is three count so we need to find out such sub arrays where the unique element count is 3 and if you look at it then it will be 1312 you will have 1312 as one sub array and you can also have 13122 as another sub array right so that will be added by 1 even if you see this 3 1 2 you have unique element count as 3 so that will be counted as well and if you look at 3 1 2 2 2 that will be counted too so in this case the total number of sub arrays where the unique element count is equals to the total number of unique elements in the array is 4 and therefore the answer is 4 if you look at the second example you just have one unique element okay one unique element so all the sub arrays whatever sub array you take it will always contain one unique element because all the elements are same so in this case the number of sub arrays are you know 4 into 5 by 2 which is n into n plus 1 by 2 so that will give you 10 sub arrays and that is why the answer is 10 here now if you look at the numbers length it is 1000 and num set i is 2000 right so if you write n square algorithm in terms of nums length then that will be 10 to the power of 6 which is below 10 to the power of 8 so if the allowed time limit is 1 second then you can even pass it with the n square technique but we will be looking at a better solution instead of generating all the sub arrays because what you could have done is generate all the sub arrays in order of n square time and then for each of the sub array you need to keep a track of the number of unique elements right so if you keep a track along with parsing all the sub arrays then it will be n square otherwise n cube is not going to pass here which will be 10 to the power 9 now let's look at an observation for better understanding let's say that uh, we are looking at a sub array from start to end and uh, the number of unique elements we are seeing are 3 which is 1 2 3 the total number of unique elements in this entire array is 3 only because we have 1 2 3 as the only unique elements the size of the array is 7 so since the number of unique elements in the sub array from start to end equals to the number of unique elements in the entire array therefore this sub array from start to end is actually a complete sub array so this needs to be counted now if this needs to be counted like let's say if 0 to 3 contains the unique count equals to the total unique count of the entire array then don't you think from 0 to 4 the count will be same and 0 to 5 0 to 6 everybody have will be having the same count because if you already contained the number of unique elements to be same as the entire array then that means all the indices to the right having the same start point must be repeating so 4 5 6 all these elements must already be present in the array from 0 to 3 okay so that is why if you have found a sub array from a given start to end point having the unique count equals to the total unique count of the array then from the same start point you can start building to n plus 1 n plus 2 n plus 3 and so on till the end so the number of complete sub arrays with the same start point will be equals to n minus n in this case which is 7 minus 3 which will be 4 that means 0 to 3 0 to 4 0 to 5 and 0 to 6 all of them but there may be other start indices having the same unique count for the same end index so what i mean to say is maybe 0 to 3 was containing unique count as 3 but if we try from 1 to 3 maybe this will also have unique count to be same because the start index was repeating or maybe from 2 to 3 will have the same unique count without trying you cannot know so if 0 to 3 is working for us then 0 to 4 0 to 5 0 to 6 all of them will be working and that is how we will be adding n n minus end but i have to also try for the other start points moving from left to right until i remove all the repeating elements from the left 
that means if i remove this one and move the start pointer to the right then are we having the same unique count from 1 to 3 the answer is yes we are still having the same unique count you see 2 1 3 are all unique and so the unique count being 3 so this will also contribute to n minus end which will be plus 4 because you have four endpoints starting from 1 1 2 3 1 2 4 1 2 5 and 1 2 6 isn't it and again i will move the start pointer to the right hand side and try from 2 to 3 so if you see from 2 to 3 you just have two unique element the total unique count of the array is 3 so this is invalid and then you will start moving the end pointer to the right to again make the start to end as valid okay so you can understand that uh, this can be handled by using the two pointer approach and you can also assume that this is a variable size sliding window problem and in order to understand about the count of unique elements we can maintain a hash map so simply a hash map will keep track of whatever element you are seeing and how many times you are seeing it so when you had 0 to 3 when you were seeing from 0 to 3 then you will have 1 as 2 times 2 as 1 time and 3 as 1 time now when you move your start pointer to the right you are losing this 0 this means you are losing this element 1 so you can reduce its frequency if the frequency is becoming 0 means you have to remove the entry from the hash map now when you are at 1 to 3 then you can check the size of the hash map you have three unique entries and the total unique count is 3 so that means this window 1 to 3 is also valid now again move your start point to the right so you will lose the first index item so 2's frequency will become 0 as soon as this is 0 it will be removed now the size of the hash map becomes 2 and so this 2 is not equals to unique count so this is invalid so this is a two pointer sliding window along with the hash map usage so i think you have understood it let's now look at the dry run so i'll be taking two pointers left and right and complete sub arrays to keep a track of the total number of complete sub arrays and the unique count of the entire array which you can build by pushing the entire array into a set and finding the size of the set which will be 3 in this case so when we start moving the right to the right hand side then i will continuously keep on adding this into the frequency map so let's say this is the frequency map so as soon as i see one i will push one into it with the frequency one and move to the right as soon as i see two I will push 2 with the frequency 1. As soon as I see a 1, I will push it or I can increment the frequency if it is already present. As soon as I th see 3, I will increment its frequency. So, the right will keep moving to the right and this is the point where the right will be and we will stop here. Because the size of the array is equals to 3 which is the same as the unique count of the entire array. So at this particular position, I know that from L to R minus 1, that means from 0 to 3, we have a valid uh, subarray. Therefore, all the points from 0 to 3, 0 to 4, 0 to 5, 0 to 6 will be valid. And so how many elements are we adding? We will be adding N minus R plus 1 elements. That means 7 minus uh, 4 plus 1, which will be 4. So add 4 to the uh, complete subarray count and that will be 4. Now you know that L to R is valid. So I will be trying to push this L to the right hand side. So I will be losing this 0th index. So what was that element 1? Decrement its frequency. What is the size of this uh, entire map? Still it is 3. So that means 1 to uh, 3 is valid. 1 to R minus 1. Always it is L to R minus 1. So L to R minus 1 is still valid. Therefore, we will be adding another n minus right plus 1. That means another 4 to it. So, this becomes 8 count. Now, we will try to move this left pointer to the right hand side. So, I will be losing this index 1. Uh, so, I will be removing this element 2. If you remove it, the frequency becomes 0. So, I have to remove this entry. Now, the size of the map is 2. And since it is less than the unique count, therefore, from 2 to 3, that means from L to R minus 1, we have an invalid subarray. So now I will be trying to push this right to the right hand side. And now I will be adding this one. The frequency will become two and move it to the right. Now is this a, a valid subarray? You will see the size is only two. So which is less than unique count. So it is not valid. So I have to move again this right pointer to the right hand side. So include this two. And two's entry will be created with frequency one. Now is this a valid subarray? Yes, because the size is three. 
you have key 1, key 3 and key 2. So the size is 3. And since the size is equals to unique count, I have to add n minus r plus 1. That means 2 sub arrays from 2 to 5 and 2 to 6. So 2 sub arrays will be added and this will become 10. Now I will try to push this left to the right hand side. And so I will lose this one. And its frequency will become 1. Still the size is same as 3. And so another uh, 2 count will be added. That means from 3 to 5 and 3 to 6. So this will become 12. Again you move this to the right hand side. Now you lost 3. And its frequency became 0. As soon as it is 0 you remove uh, that entry. The size of the sub array is 2. So that means from L to R minus 1 you have an invalid sub array. So keep moving this right pointer to the right hand side now. So 3's entry will be added with frequency 1. Now find out the size. Size will be 3. 1, 2, 3. Right? Therefore, uh, this sub array from 4 to R minus 1, that means 4 to 6 is valid. And so plus 1 count will be added and this becomes 13. And now move this left pointer to the right hand side. The entry for 1 will be removed. Okay? And now the size is less than 3 it is 2 so since the size is 2 i will try to move this right pointer to the right but since we have hit the end we will break it out okay we will break it out and so the answer will be 13 now in this particular process the initial step was to use a set which will take let's say o and time to build and uh, actually to find the size and after that we are iterating through this entire array exactly one time and each of the element may be visited two times using the left and right pointer Pushing and popping from the map is considered order of 1. So the overall time complexity is order of n and the space complexity order of n due to the set and the hash map. Let's now look at the code. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just 3 months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes. To know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number. In this problem we are given the nums array and I will be pushing the entire array into a set and finding the size and saving it into the unique count of the entire array. Then I will take left right pointer finding the size of the array, taking the frequency map and the complete sub array counter. And now I will be iterating using the left and right pointer. So until the left pointer uh, reaches to the end. So I'll keep pushing the right pointer until right pointer goes out of bound or we have found a valid sub array. And if we have stopped and we could not find a valid sub array means we have run out of all the elements. And so from the given L to the out of bound index if I could not find any valid sub array then even if you move this left pointer to the right my count of unique element is not going to increase moving the left pointer to the right always keeps the uh, unique count less than equals to whatever it was from the initial L to R right because we are removing the items and moving the right pointer to the right only uh, it can keep the unique count same or it can increase it right so that is the reason uh, we will be breaking here. Now if we have found a valid sub array then I will be adding the complete sub arrays to n minus r plus 1. And uh, we need to move this left pointer to the right to try other start points for the same end point. And so the frequency of the left item has to be reduced. If the frequency becomes 0 remove that entry from the map. And move uh, to the right hand side. Move this left pointer to the right hand side. Okay. So this is the entire approach and I hope it is clear. At the end we will be sending the complete sub arrays. If you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and I will try to help you as soon as possible. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.